revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros. Euro. Left pocket got pounds. Pound. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand. Catch with the left touchdown. I. I'm gonna play I got some sorts. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. I. <laughs> you work hard. You focus. And you commit. You're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. I... A three, nah, I think a four. No, 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 not no four. Oh god, no. Ten, one. Oh my god. Nice. That's probably what it looks like. I'm not too sure if that's the head or not. Um. Oh yeah, that's the hair. It's like a blonde. Yeah, exactly like that. Oh my god, not that type. <laughs> and I am going. I am going to go Hollywood. Uh, oh no. Oh yeah. Should I make my um red? Oh my god, black is yeah, sure black. Light blue. Oh my my light color. Well I have blue eyes, so I there you go. Hometown. I mean, I was going to say I live in North Carolina. I'm um, after text me. Um, is Isaiah getting on tonight? Um, I don't know. <laughs> and see. All I'm gonna say, I live in North Carolina. Done. I. There we go. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, ma'am. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Uh. Hello? Hello? Who's it going to be? Okay, okay. Oh, oh. oh see you. I saw these on the last one. Four years later. Oh my god, this is so loud. 
team star starting quarterback out. They're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college. Not one. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back. There you go. Let's go, y'all. Yeah. My God, that was fun. That's what got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's going to keep them in this game. Drop back, scan and throw. We're not sure the new kid can do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Snake? Four years ago, it was a five star college football player. Uh, does that say something right there? What happened to that trust? Coach, you wanted to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is, if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. But to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's got to prove it to those guys. I take this. All right, gentlemen. Like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. So we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, go on in there. Uh -huh. uh, this is for players and coaches only. I'm here to play Florida. What? The Gators, yeah. You? OK. What's your name? Superstar. <laughs> oh. Can I just say I don't have a last name? Dang it. <laughs> I guess Jacob. I don't know. I don't know. That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, but uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna record them. Okay. All right. So, we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Mm. Oh, um, well, I, oh man. Hey, what's up, man? Well, I've always had a big arm, so. Just throw it deep, let my receivers get under it. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How would my teammates describe me? Yeah. 
Yeah, were you intense? You were cutthroat, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know what? I'm kind of a film junkie. I like to lead by example in that way, so... <laughs> People would joke that I was like a mini-me of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen, you ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. I got you. All right. Wow. Mm. I only know about college, so the only thing I know about is, um, oh, Jesus. I need to play. Oh, as a quarterback, you need to see all parts of the field. Hold L2 to check out. Ow, ow. Alright, alright. Oh, what? Come on, set! As a quarterback. Oh, uh, what? Ready, ready! Well, what's supposed to do? Ready, ready. There we go. I need to use that. Look, man, sometimes you just gotta get the ball to me fast as these. I'm whatever. Is that what it's talking about? To talk about that bullet. I, I don't know what it means. Hey, Big Fripper. Big What? I'm not doing that, man. Shoot. Oh, okay. Eight mm. two out of four. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Ah, no. Ready, 60 pitch 
And I'm doing very great. I'm not doing very good at this point, not in a long time. Alright. Whoa. Whoa, what is he? What am I supposed to do? Sometimes you need more uh, to not escape. R3. Oh! Easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? I need to prove to him I can handle this. Maybe playing it safe's the best option. Look, you don't have to prove anything, especially to him. Dude had you on the bench for four years, remember that? You need to wake up. There's a lot at stake right now for all of us. Even more so for Isaiah. So you don't take what he says personally. You're doing the right thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Have a good game. Outside, heavy snow, surprisingly, with temps in the 20s. The good news, we are inside AT&T Stadium in Arlington, and tonight it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups. As we'll the see the Florida LSU Gators Tigers. taking on the LSU Tigers. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. Means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I want my for the for. right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. That's fielded in the end zone, and he won't return this mm -hmm. one. He'll go Here down go. to a Here knee, and they'll start Here at the 25. Mm -hmm. First and 10, Florida. Clements. 
And oh my God. Stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. For the Gators, they are in search of their fourth national title in school history. They lifted the trophy for the first time back in 96. And then most recently, they were champions in 2006 and again in 2008. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they weren't able to make anything really big out of that, but it's not oh, a bad God. idea to find your tight end and give an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. One. No. That yeah. Third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about yeah, the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, I inside the five. Superb. Here we go. His first collegiate snap. What a spot as the Tigers come up first and 10. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second and three. And an alley to run. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, right. but that scramble good for six and a first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. No! Here's incomplete. All right, we need a rush. One. The Tigers of LSU looking for their fourth title in school history. They were champs way back oh, in 1958 and twice in this century so far, 2003 and 2007. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Here's this out for streets. Come on. No. Oh, forgot to run it. Got it. Isaiah Streets, the intended target, and it's third down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. Ready, ready. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Oh, yes, push him. Come on. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Let's go. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Oh, have to at least come on. He's got a man complete. Finally. It's a gain of 35. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job oh. of the offensive line. The route. And he will take this in. Touchdown, LSU. C.J. Trahan, 33 yards. And LSU has taken the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Gator offense is ready to get this next drive started. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? 
I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Let's go, defense. This will be a carry for Clements. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, yeah, too. Yeah, tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. They're going to look to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. He's at the 30. And he's able to get this way down deep oh in the enemy territory. A big play there. 67 yards. Execution and now oh my gosh. Are they ever red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, and put it on the board. It's six and <laughs> touchdown. Let's go. It's their quarterback. With the second touchdown in this opening quarter. And LSU adds on to their advantage. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams script plays. Oh, God. No, don't let them. Yes. The ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. NFL. The Gators now with a first and ten. I think you got that wrong. Um, I don't know what. They turn to Jennings. What are you doing? Yeah. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Oh, no. How do you get that? And he it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On the ground, here's Jennings. He'll get about God, six he's got takes this one down to the 24-yard line. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys going to want to run up and tackle him. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up a third down. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Reddick sends to throw it. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Florida going to send on the field goal team here. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. The first no! field goal catches everyone by surprise as they are now on the board here in the first half. I got it. Well, they even trying. I mean. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds. I'm up some more running so plays mad. for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet to come in this career. I would have fallen the board. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24 yard line. Should we do a Hail Mary first? Yeah, let's do a Hail Mary. Tiger offense ready to get Hail after Mary. it one more time. And Charles, so much of this offense the last few years centering around the combination of Marcus Washington and Isaiah Streets. Streets saying Washington's. It's oh. inside the 22. Oh, that word. Oh, that word. How did I put the 22 yard line? And a huge play that time. 54 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. No. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone. Thank but it wind up just being incomplete. All right, well, stop he's been the, the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more right, if he wanted to make the ball that way. I think we need to run it. Statistician Marvin was already handed no! a piece of paper with that yardage. Run it, I'm running. It. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. I'll put you over here. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. to throw now on first down. No! And it's incomplete. Yes. Broken up. Let's but there is a by. flag down. Let's see what that's about. Yes! And since the penalty yes. occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. Here's a first and goal, LSU. They'll set up a throw. Mm. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down. Oh, there, I think we need to run it. Careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Out of way. And it's a touchdown. It's their quarterback on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And LSU adds on to their advantage. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. God, the we're destroying them to get this next drive started. Like, I guess they have to feel mm. a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt yes. about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. First All play right. the goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Oh my the ground, God! It's Clements. The second down what play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly and rode him right out of bounds. 
Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them pressure. Down. Forces fourth down. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Can we do a Hail Mary again? I wanted that by an interceptor, but it's going to be my fault if they intercepted. Ready to get after it one more time. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, oh but they have to play. Caught inside the 20. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. And what a big time play there. And even 60 yards. LSU with a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And they work this near the oh. five. He'll be stopped at the six. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. This will be caught at about the six. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And this results in six. Touchdown. It's their quarterback. On his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And LSU adds on to their advantage. Oh, I haven't turned to the second half yet. The more like 28 to 7. Give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off the squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. LSU fans saying, Marcus who? They lead big as we reach halftime. Who's up? We up. Who's up? We up. Let's go. Okay. Let's check in with you. How do you feel about the first half? That's how we're playing. Let's go. Honestly, I think after four years on the bench, some of these guys forgot that I know how to throw the ball. But uh, taking this lead in the halftime has done a lot for everyone's confidence. Good. We keep throwing, keep surprising people, and let's put this thing away in the second half. Coach, really good job out there in the first half. I, uh, I should have trusted you more. That's on me. That's right. You should have trusted me. That's why you recruited me. Well, I can't change the past. So, let's go finish this thing off in the second half. As a team. Thanks, Coach. The winner goes on, the loser goes home as we start the second half in this semifinal matchup from Arlington. Let's feel it at the two. Oh, uh, what? No! Dang it! No. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. No. Those are I, I forgot. I thought it was my 
I thought it was their ball. That's why I was just chilling. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And offensively here, you wouldn't know it by looking at it that Marcus Washington is not in the game. Oh my. Got his man complete. Let's go. Give him 30 yards there. Again, the underlying story here, no snaps in four years. It seems kind of hard to believe. You almost wonder if there's some type of lingering animosity between quarterback and coach. Because there certainly have been a few of those 56 to 7 type games over the last few years. But much like the oh. Patriots in the NFL, where you see Tom Brady take almost every <laughs> snap, even at his age, that was the case with Marcus Washington. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Go run. So now run second it. and 10 after the incompletion on first down. <laughs> Flush to his right. And this will be good for a pickup of 9 to the 46. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. He continues to make plays, and he looks terrific out there right now. But what I really liked, the way he's controlled this huddle, playing with a lot of confidence. And that confidence has been transmitted oh, to the rest of the team. So First and ten, LSU. Back to throw. And he no! Now he's swallowed up and taken down. Like the footwork back there. I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Trying to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up being this should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Not sure in Hail Mary. To say that when you have three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there oh. and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. Oh, get a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. Come on. Chance with the football. Look out. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. The LSU field goal unit out there now. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot. How, of how many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they were. Really He's right now down. I might just have to get you off to a quick He's right now down. Four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. This offense in yeah, desperate well, need of a conversion as they come up on third down. No. Here's Reddick. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle but couldn't spring himself free. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they show confidence in their defense by punting it away. Let me go in! And down he goes in the end zone, and that's a safety. Well, I think you can go oh ahead and give God. your punter an assist on that. That's all the deep, quarterback the fault. Comes through with two points. He could have exactly stolen right, the ball. Partner. This was all but he tried by it. Great no. Punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. 
And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Scott ran by all team. Jesus. <laughs> What's the game? And I don't know how you hurt. Ready to begin the next drive. Won. Here's the Florida offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drive what should deserve you to come off the field. Not really move the ball. Well, as you, you said, they even get to the red zone. Let alone, you know, not even oh put points on the board. God. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. A boost here to start the drive after the penalty. It's first and five. 56 is the mic. 56 is the mic. Let him know. Let him know. On play action, they'll throw. Throw left side complete. It's Arnold. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. It goes as a gain of eight and moves the chains. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Okay. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. 11 yards there, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. First and 10, Florida. Now Reddick. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them nowhere to go. Here, he lost the football. It's going the other way. Does the big boy have the juice? You've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've no. tried, <laughs> but Thank nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Now a throw to the end zone on first no. down, but it winds up no, not quarter, you've got like, the big lead if you're coaching the Charlie. Other you're still taking shots you're like that down the field. I'd be a little more concerned yeah, about running some clock and making sure you're taking care here. of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Oh, I forgot. I couldn't run it. And this one incomplete mm. as well. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? Yeah. And it's on the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away. Into a nice Come on! And a nice job there defensively to contain him no. and get him to the ground a few yards short of the first down marker. Decent gain on the I'm scramble at six, go. but now it's fourth. This one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth? Oh, God! Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards, a first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Burke. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Oh. Especially against man coverage. Because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Oh, my God. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Second and 11. No! Jennings. Yeah, so, oh, my God. Who is a person wide open? 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Who is a person wide open? I think big guy. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Second and one. And that one, his first incompletion in his last six passes. And it's third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been out playing all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, so make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Nah, this is hell, man. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time. And that is caught. It's an LSU <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> I didn't do a Hail Mary. I didn't do a touchdown. And LSU but, adds on to oh their my advantage. Gosh. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe it they are getting destroyed. They just don't like them. But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they okay. worried about, do you need enough points in case yeah. there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. After the touchdown, it's the LSU uh, Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Oh, uh, this is taken at the three. Get it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the try. 30 yard line. Oh, okay. Covid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida nah, nah. offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. 
Some people like to do that. I've never played for a guy that went down huge. It's like, do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, uh, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other, other time. People some want teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better other yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, I probably just want to put this one behind them. No oh my God. He lost the football. One. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him oh, with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football I game. I forgot how to read timeout. Second and five. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. He'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Burke. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. As they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. The Gators now with a first and ten. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 <laughs> seconds now. I'm so second you. down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Second and 10. He's got Smith here. And they're going to be set up down Eight around the 15-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. Oh my so God. On the strength of two touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback, the LSU Tigers are moving on to play for a national championship on Monday, January 7th. That was crazy. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. That was a gutsy performance out there tonight. You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Whew. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. <clears throat> you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! Ha <laughs> <laughs> M. Looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, Emily has the best that one. Okay. If you had a unicorn... Would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Mm. Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I'm gonna do pink, no question. Definitely pink. <laughs> pink, no question. <laughs> no, look. You see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. All right, the game is in the name, off the board. And now it's clicking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, uh, Onyx. <laughs> okay. I told you she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but 
Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? Oh. <laughs> is, is that okay? Well, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. What if during the game, I came up with sort of some sort of signal to give you, so you know we're thinking about you? No, not as good as four touchdowns. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's great seeing you guys. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She loves it. Okay, all right, all right. Get on the bus. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah, not, not at all. Is it? No, no not, that's no? it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent. But they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real. He's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? National hey, championship game. Yeah, sure, coach. You know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. It's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back. All right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Yeah. Thanks. Good one. Yeah. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the Florida State Seminoles taking on the LSU Tigers. One game to decide it all. It's the college football playoff national championship and off we go from Levi Stadium. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. First and 10 now, Florida State. Operating from the gun, George. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. 
For Florida State, they're seeking their fourth national championship. They were winners back in 1993, also in 99, and then most recently back in 2013. Going for the deep ball. And this oh, is, oh my get him. he pulled it in one-handed. And all the way down to the 29. Oh. And they rattle off a big one, 43 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. George to throw. Oh, my God, no. Inside here, complete. Oh. And taking it to the 15-yard line Is this before the he's best brought team down. Call it out. That one good for 14 yards. He might um, one more person, probably. They'll run now with Will Hoyt. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Thank that God. Sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I need an extra man on Looking field. to throw on second down. George. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it, because that's mm -hmm. not what you want to do to try and press your new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, yourself. Probably spent all night last night saying, don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully, that's caught in Oh my God. Way. Thank God. It's a big play there. Thank you, God. Thank you. Oh my God. If you were with us for the semifinal, we told the story. I mean, this is a quarterback who was heavily recruited out of high school four years ago on signing day. Had all the hats in front of him. People weren't sure no where he was going to go. So no. many different offers wound up here. And it hasn't been the script no. he probably would have written. But what a storybook ending this could turn out to be if they can take care of business in this title battle. Second and nine now. Yeah, penalty. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Thank God. Um, first and goal. So yeah. they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. No! Whoa! What are y'all doing? Are y'all trying to win? You get extra pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. He'll drop to throw. I can't. No! To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Mm, I'm, I'm getting mad. Oh, my God. He's about with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Florida State offense ready to get their next drive going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming right. from the other side. Because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs. They have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. George looking to pass. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That one a 14-yard play, and it keeps this drive moving. The Seminoles here with a first and 10. Now Will Hoyt. 
And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. To throw on second down. George. And this is caught. A okay. Just five right review. Shit. Before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there. Yeah. First down. Well. So well. on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Go there. 18, Gator. On first and ten, George looking left side and he's got a man. It's Grant and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the carry, this is Will Hoyt. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. That's caught. It's Thomas. Y'all fall. Two people wide open. And one running down wide open. All three people wide open. Three. First and goal for the Seminoles. From the gun, George. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Then fall. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And he's got it. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and work out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend. Don't oh. hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that? On, what does that mean? Break out the just because you break you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Now a deep ball here, hold in just past the 50. He got 29 yards that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz. Made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now the man it's caught at the six oh yard line. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. Touchdown, LSU. A foul. Got on a two-minute mark. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it. Let's go. And boy, did that work out well. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. to get this drive underway. The Seminole offense at the line. Just a lone field goal for him so far. Trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. He's going to sling this. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. 
Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. Operating from the gun, George. No. He gets it to Thomas. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. First down now, but that clock rolling. You're like my streaming, right? Throwing on first down. I'm live streaming. Throwing right, and that's complete. Yeah. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. How many times you can call? There, 21 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender. Right? What? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him, as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. Two. Still find a way to get his head around and make the play. Oh. Now a pass well, hold in downfield. Well, I'll have to touch more than the ball. Before he crosses over out of bounds. That's now a pair of explosive Madden. plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. Yeah. And they're taking the ball um, away after... coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back. I thought you found this thing. The only way to play good defense. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Whatever, this offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now George. Oh, I'm playing Madden right now. Am I streaming on the time or am my streaming is over time? Madden and Pro Madden and NFL Forged to Goal. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 um, yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Oh, no, Second no. and four. Looking in zone, oh, and it's incomplete. I'll bounce that guard. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. That's no! Touchdown, Florida State. Redarius Thomas. No! As they are an it's extra point away now from tying this football game. After nearly 30 oh. minutes of football, that touchdown yeah, no football. puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the Go, second half. Don't you even know anything about football? Right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Whatever. It's my least, it's my least favorite what? How dare you? Level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh my god, get in there. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24 yard line. I'm in place with the Star Hill Mary, I think. The Tiger I offense ready to get after it one more time. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Charles, we talked in the semifinal yeah, all about, about the Isaiah Street's back. brother, Ezekiel, no! lost due to leukemia exactly Ezekiel, one year ago bro. today. But since then, Isaiah's been yeah. active in trying to help those who are going through the same struggles his brother went through. He formed a real bond, in fact, over the summer with one of them, 11-year-old cancer patient what? Emily Atwood of Centerville, Texas. And we're told oh, that Emily and her father, Tom, made yeah. the two-hour drive the up to Arlington down, yeah. a week ago to watch their semifinal victory and got to spend some time afterwards with the All-American. American receiver and his new quarterback. And folks out there should see how Isaiah's face lights up when the discussion turns to the young lady. He calls him and the inspiration oh, he takes it. from her fight. I've got it's really it. something special. It's caught inside the track. Come on, so caught it. And he finally <laughs> goes down, but not before reaching the 21. I like the hell man now. <laughs> Dang. 
more have to decide it all. We are tied in the national championship game. Hey, come on. Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? Just give me the ball, all right? Let me do my thing. Got it. Hey, you know how much this means to me, right? Of course I do. Then make it happen. Okay, man. All right. Just one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national championship game. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. So, CD, you look at our quarterback. He said it. He's been consistent. This is it. I'm graduated. I'm not going to go the grad transfer route. It's time for me to move on. If you're an NFL scout, do you see enough in him to think he's got a future in this league with this little experience that we've seen? Every scouting instinct tells me to tell him to go the graduate transfer route. But you know how it is nowadays. And look, he's put now a clash of bodies here and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. Oh, uh, not you. I was talking about the other idea. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn God. that you have to I hold the safety. You to and you do that when you're head movement, your eyes, eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Oh, that's on you. It's the safety the so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited Stop. thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. They'll run it now out of the gun. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Stop. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Stop. I'm good. Well, hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him. He's a big part of their offense. Football all the way to... Uh, I forgot. Looking to throw on second down. George brought in over the middle by Grant. Well, I can never agree with that. Pressure was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball. Oh and God! And you don't they give up much run after the catch. Oh my God, no! And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. First and ten now, Florida State. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down. George, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Come on, go on, go, go, yes. On plays like this, where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because. This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Oh, blocking people. A great return there of 22 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together. It's caught inside the 25. Oh, he's going to get this way down deep in enemy territory. A big play there. 43 yards. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Buying time to his left. Run it! And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Opted 
expected to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. They'll oh. set up the throw to the oh, end zone, oh, but it's incomplete. <laughs> down this close I, to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run. <laughs> I am, and you know I'm old school. I'm going to run the ball first down in this situation. Like second down, that gives me an option of running. And oh. it's caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Isaiah Streets there to make the grab. Isaiah his guys are able to regain the Go, lead. Go, Isaiah Streets. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. Go! Let's go! Bring my right down the middle, And that makes huh? it a 17-10 yeah. score. Oh. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick ball. team out there to send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Ooh. And it'll be taken down just past the 20 Ooh. and about the 21 yard line. Here's the Florida State offense ready to get their next drive going. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Looking to throw on second down. George. No! Right side here, and that's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Well, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. No! Well, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A very solid gain of 27. On first down. George looking for his running back and he's got it and he's going to be stopped here for no gain and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play three quarters have come and gone back now here on EA Sports as it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll run oh. it out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the ten-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. The offense on third down tonight, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. George. And oh, tight coverage there. It's knocked that. away incomplete. incomplete. Running Not out of the so call spot on. How about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to oh. try to find something. There's nothing available there for him. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this certainly a nerve-wracking. And that's caught inside the 30. Get off it. Get off Still it. Get feet. off it. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Oh, <laughs> oh, a huge play that time. 68 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. Oh, I remember the go. days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one on one and the ball's in the air. Oh my God. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Just bomb it to the crowd. 
After the touchdown, so the funny. LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready to get this drive underway. The Seminole offense at the line. And tough to win games if you go field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here's a quick hitch route, and the throw complete. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that the entire time. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Isaiah Streets, his second touchdown of the night. And LSU adds on to their advantage. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. What? I After the touchdown, I the LSU Tigers kick team oh, out there to send this one away. This is taken near the 13. Oh my and God, no! Wow. The 40, the 20, 10, and he takes it into the end zone for a Florida State it's touchdown. It's all because my stupid ass. I could ask I know a lot of special teams nothing. coaches, it's they just want to keep it away from him oh. because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. I could and they say challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs yes, as fast ran as down he is, field like some I wouldn't coward. challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur oh, when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. No! Point after, right down the middle. Yeah, that was shaking. Oh my god, that was so wrong, but I just know. <laughs> I don't know. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. The risk reward oh, of the onside I'm kick when you don't get it. The risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying what? your best Why? to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that the championship game. And then you're, whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep. Oh my God. Those types of Make things, it. Yes. Run. Run. Take this Run. game. I'm winning by 17, though. It's the fourth LSU quarter. LSU adds on to their advantage. The score is 20 to 37. The That's the in the passing game. Game. Well, oftentimes, you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, yeah. which is where he likes to I'm winning by 18. The score is 20 to 38. It's the fourth quarter, quarter, quarter with two minutes. He goes into the end zone. 20 to 38. Winning by 18. 20 and 20, that's a big win! 20 and 20. Whatever. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line.
How is that not safety? I think. I think he touched the wire. Not Here's the Florida How is State that not offense safety? ready to get their next drive going. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. Whatever. They've got to make amends. How many times have we seen <laughs> meetings with coaches? And they use the term complimentary football. Oh, <laughs> offense, take care of the defense. Defense, that. take care of the offense. <laughs> that didn't happen in the last possession. <laughs> this is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. They'll run it now. Oh, y'all got you. Got you. Got you. The drive continues. It's a first down. He continues to struggle oh, to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just We're go on the side. We're leaving Just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On first and ten, George. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. <laughs> now you got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Football, off the line. To throw on second down, George. You went out. That's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. Down. You're one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now on third and long, they have to throw. Down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. One minute and sixteen seconds. Down. Oh, an hour and they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Back to throw, George. Get him! Get down once more. RKO. They had to go for it with such RKO. little time remaining. RKO. And boy, possession here turns over with a football. Contact, baby. Let's go. Zone. <laughs> LSU with a first and ten. Oh, They'll God. set up to throw. I don't know why I said that contact. <laughs> oh, no. Crisis averted. Almost oh, I can't stop my fingers. Instead, second down. Oh, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise team. they're throwing here? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your yes. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Jeremy yeah, let's go. 20. Two I'm leading my 24. Here so far. And LSU adds on to their advantage. There you go, Charles. Apparently, all she had to do was ask. How about that? His Ow. fourth touchdown pass in this championship game. Give her so credit bad. for asking. Give him credit for living up to it. And I bet they're both relieved that there won't be another game. She might ask for eight touchdown passes in that one. Extra point right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. Okay, so. So I thought, so. So what's the point? <laughs> After the touchdown, the oh, LSU oh, Tigers oh. kick team out there to send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out Let's to the 25 yard line. Let's go. on Fortnite. Let's go. Ready to get this drive underway. The Seminole offense at the line. Let's just be frank. They're playing. Stop playing. That's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. If they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. No, not that type of. Let's see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Real Mary. That's Alexander. Here we go. Here we go. Is an impressive 31-yard game. A defensive end. They have the comfortability here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through, but in the meantime, nowhere to go here. He no, lost no, the football. He the ball. He called for by the offense. <laughs> As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Power, power, power. 
Nowhere to go oh, here. He lost the football. Oh, you must be kidding me. And the offense will burn their third and final timeout. As they'll well, stop the clock with 12 seconds to go how? in the football in real game. Life, Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Oh, That'll no. set him back with a loss of three on the play. Let's oh, go! I won! How about this story? I won the championship the game! Never wow. taken a snap at a college football game until nine days ago. They are the national champions. You, uh, you, you wanna know what team I was on? The, LS, the LSU. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy. Let's go! 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 let us go 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 he worked around the clock to prepare for this game. I've never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's uh. done and under this kind of pressure. Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention. Is this kid special? Come on, man. You deserve it, son. Congratulations. Coach, this is you. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. I... I, I, it's better than I ever thought it would feel. <laughs> I can't even describe it, really. It's just to be up on this stage, celebrating with these guys. It, it's perfect. It's just perfect. It is a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, the trophy man absolutely isaiah streets we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today but can you tell us in this moment how you're feeling right now it's a lot lots of feelings taylor uh, i made a promise to my brother that i was going you know none of this None of this would have been possible without this man right here. This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. Love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. Ew. See? This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah. Let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. About getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season, it was characterized by overcoming. These guys did just that and won a national championship. Back to you guys. <sighs> My gosh. We won! Let's go! Right. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, he's actually right here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hello? Hey, it's Emily's dad. <laughs> Look, I, I know that you got a lot on your plate right now, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. I, I just wanted to let you know, Emily's out of her surgery, and she is doing great. <laughs> she got to see the game. That's great. That's great. And you know what? When she saw you doing the unicorn, her face just lit up. I mean, thank you so much. You you have a true fan for life. <laughs> thank you so much. Emily's amazing. <laughs> uh, please let us know how she's doing and, and keep in touch. I will. I will. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Bye now. See you then, baby.
college football season's wrapped up and the draft is two months away. Today we kick off the NFL scouting combine over the next seven days. More than 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Kyle, who's your player to watch? Okay, it's the mythical backup quarterback who just won a national championship. This guy who's played in two games. Two games, and we're saying maybe a third round pick? Come on, the hype is unreal. God, he did win a national championship. Yes, he did. It was incredible. Peter, eight quarters of football, third round pick. Get out of here. If he blows up the combine like some people expect, uh -huh. he could be a first round draft. No way. No, Nate, no way. Listen, this isn't a particularly strong draft class for the quarterback position. And you know when that happens, teams get desperate for that QB, and they start to reach a little bit. Guess we'll find out soon. Wow. 2019 NFL. Yes, I hear you, and I've been hearing you for the last 15 minutes. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to... Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with... I've got a few other guys to meet this week, and then I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? okay. Just, can you hold on for a second? Okay, but Thank you. No, time. just be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, <laughs> a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then I, I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot, so why don't you tell me why you should even be on my radar? I just won a national championship. And that's not the last trophy I plan to have on my mantle. You pick me, you better clear your shelf for some hardware. Hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call back yes, I'll have to call you back. Okay. I love you too, Dad. Bye. Are you for real? You and I have a mutual friend in common, Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis together. What do you think he might say about your ability to lead a locker room? Look, I respect Jack Ford, and I, I want you to... Let me just stop you right there. Jack had nothing but praise to say about you. And frankly, now, so do I. <laughs> Listen, the truth is, my owner, he wants someone with the measurables. You go out there and you impress, and you will be on our radar. Can you do that? Yeah. Sounds good. Drink an extra protein shake or whatever you gotta do. Okay. Hand over your phone. I wanna check your internet history. You want me to give you my phone? Is that just like normal procedure? You bet it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Well, at least now I know I can trust you with your playbook. Yes, you can. You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Bus in Alaska. I go front of the bus. Not middle. Nope. Have you looked at the engine before you even got into the bus? Uh, Did you check the tire pressure? I hired a professional mechanic to inspect every part of the bus as he is more qualified than me. And I am aware of my strengths and weaknesses. Are you being cute with me, son? No. You're not. Now give me a serious answer. Would you be in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus, or the passenger side of the bus? I already answered the front of the bus. Why? Because if I can see where we're going, I can make sure we're okay. Is that the wrong answer?
Funny how many eyes are on us right now, huh? Breaking us down, picking us apart. And All right. You guys are going to wrap it up there. We're going to wrap it up here today, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Um, make sure, um, well, I, I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Um, if you enjoy it, leave a like. You don't have to leave a like if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want to. And by the way, um, y'all, y'all guys don't have to unsubscribe, but you can subscribe to me if you want. You don't really have to, but. I mean, you can if you want, but eat my content or whatever you so, don't, then get out. Honestly, get out. But, um, uh, and yeah, well, make sure you, uh, it's good to say it. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure that like button is blue. Make sure you also subscribe. No, Isaiah, Isaiah. Uh, you think, um, the viewers sub should subscribe to the channel. I'm so loud. Okay, you just gonna warn me. Whatever. Oh my god. Oh, I, guess, I guess he said, I guess he meant yes. But make sure you also turn on those notifications. Until then, if Ow!